Hi everybody, welcome back uh, to our YouTube channel and today we're going to be talking about uh, stacking and why to stack. And I have some special guests with me today. I'm Eddie. I'm Mac. I'm Karen. I'm Mark. All right, so here are some of the, the main reasons why you would want to stack. The number one is if your partner is a lefty, uh, male, female, doesn't matter, mixed doubles, you would want two forehands through the middle because, again, that's the largest area on the court and you want to be able to cover there. Uh, the second part is when we play mixed doubles and usually, again, they target the female. I'm not being sexist. I am a female. I feel like I'm a pretty decent player, but I'm also going to stack because I want to make sure that I'm giving my partner the most opportunity to get involved. And by being on the right side, I allow my right-handed partner to get involved through the middle of the court. Uh, the other part is, is that a lot of the times is, is even when you're playing two males or two females, it's a different look. It's a variation. It's something to give them, again, uh, maybe somebody is not feeling great. Maybe you're not playing that well that day and your partner is feeling great. So why not give them a different look and help out your partner? And it's much easier to get involved when you're coming over with the forehand. Um, and, then, and then again, uh, just in general, a lot of people, they like there, I would say maybe your forehand dink is better uh, or your backhand dink is better. And then that is how you set up as a team, you set up much better. So we're going to be playing some points and we're going to show you some of the advantages of stacking. Okay, here we go. Bye. So again, one of the reasons why you would want to stack is because, again, you want that ball to be taken by him. Yes, that's the forehand right there. Okay, here you go. Do it again. So now you're going to stack. Okay. Go. Get up. Yeah. So, okay, so first things first. So why why is it why is one of the reasons why we would stack? If you have somebody that's maybe a little bit more aggressive, has a little bit more reach, or has a stronger forehand, it probably makes sense to have them cover a little bit more of this area here. Good. And and, and it happens that in mixed doubles, a lot of the times, and it's not being sexist, it's just the way it is, that they target the woman, right? So by targeting the woman, if you, you happen to be get stuck on this side, the guy can't really, well, they can, but it's not going to be as effective helping out with the backhand. So if all of a sudden, like let's say, Mac, you get stuck over on the side, and now they have this area, you, you can't come and help. And now you just feel all alone here trying to stay out of trouble or, or trying to like do something, create something on your own. Where in this case, what you want to do is actually make that area smaller, which then again, most people's forehands are better. We defend better maybe with the back end, but we attack better and we dink better with the forehand. Okay, as much as you don't think you do, you do. So then again, that's where it becomes that you, you're playing now with two forehands because of the fact that, again, that yes, so you coming this way to take the forehand and you coming that way. So then it forces, if you want to find a back end, where do you have to hit the ball? Behind the guy. And the guy can, can ultimately, with that back end, attack the woman right in front. And if they're strong enough, they can da do some damage. Correct. Okay. Now, the other thing too. So when we are serving, okay, and you coming over, a lot of the times the ball gets played through the middle. The return gets played through the middle. If that happens... You have to think that if the woman is going to take it, then what is the guy to do? Where are you going with your third shot drop? The woman. And then the guy is making himself big and seen and taking over that middle to put a ton of pressure. A lot of unforced errors are not unforced. They're forced by positioning. So meaning that if Mac hits a good third shot drop over there to Karen and Eddie, you can come and make yourself seen and big, where are you going? You're going to try to go really wide, and then all of a sudden, something that becomes really routine for you, you've hit plenty of cross-court dinks before, but now all of a sudden you go for a little bit more, and then you make an error. That's not an unforced error. That's a forced by pressure, okay? Let's do that point again. Yeah. I 
and you stay there. Yep. So that's the example. You went to Mark. Now, Mark, you are out of the picture and you're going to keep her engaged. So that's why, think about that. Do it again. Think about the difference that it will make. I guarantee you. And then you get big there. There you go. Now go. Why go there? There you go. So, so just remember, forget that Mark exists. That's where you guys got to think. The reason why you stack is because you do want to think about like putting pressure on the woman. That's, that's the thing about mixed doubles. It's all about applying, applying pressure on, the, on your woman's mm -hmm. opponent because then the guy feels like he can take over more court. Good, now put pressure. Stay there. There you go, and finish it. Okay, better. So d just realize that then when you guys get the opportunity, I don't care what you attack because now you guys are on defense. But just think about, like, go there and then put the pressure to finish the point. That's what you're looking to do. Because again, now you have a chance of getting involved. Nice. There you go. Smart. Come on. Patience. Yeah. Go. Oh, you had it. That was good. So again, that was a better point in you going this way and getting your chance. That's then again, I, I know this is when we playing women's doubles. I talk about going down the line. In this case, I want you to lean and go back to Karen's feet. Because remember, who do we want to keep engaged? The woman. Okay, because then the, that guy, the guy gets into play as well to finish off the point, or maybe you do, you finish off the point. So when you have a, the opportunity to be aggressive, like with a third shot, be aggressive and then look to come in behind it. Don't be afraid to, to drive a third, especially when you're inside of the court. And then in a sense, like if you have a deep return and you can go make sure that Mac volleys or the, the female volleys, so that way you can apply pressure and you never know what might happen off of that. There you go. Come on. Yeah, that's it. Now lean into it. Ooh, go again. But you can get involved. Yeah, it's okay. Go. Go. Yep. Okay, so I'll stop right there. So that's three points in a row. Okay, so, so this is to me one of the main reasons why you would stack in the return of serve okay when you get into that situation where now it's not that you can't help you could try but it would look pretty ugly because now you're coming way over and now you might as well do an ernie but at this point you become a target and it feels pretty lonely in there and you guys just feel like you can attack her all day and then put the pressure and that's like let's say you get to that point where you three points in a row and you only thing that you've hit so far is the return of serve. And you just feel like you can be the best player that you can be, but at that point, you're just like, oh my goodness, it's like this game, rely like it's on me now. And you are in that even in that, that odd number, and now you can't get off of it. Let's say you maybe pot pot potentially you're up 3-1, and now it's 4-3. This is the time where you call, that's a good time to call a timeout and say, hey, let's do a switch. Let's either stack or let's, you know, give them a different view because now maybe they stay on thinking they are going to go down the line, but now you were there to help out. Go. That's good. All of a sudden, it's a different view. And now it kind of gets you second guessing because you want to now go back to Mac but they're on the move and you're just like, oh, I got, you know, it, it does do things mentally as well. And get to your spot, get to your spot and be ready. And you get, yes, perfect, perfect. Because now you're protecting her, but you're protecting yourselves, right? Your team by getting yourself in that position, getting big. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the times people think, oh, 
I need to return to 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 the middle. Uh, the middle sometimes is not the best spot, especially if you end up hitting into Mark's forehand and now he can come and pull it across. But you want to think like a deep, deep return towards, if he's going to come over, he better be on this side of the court. So it's a middle but towards the right side, okay? So that would be a really good time to, to stack when you guys are in the odd number and now you're stuck and you can't get out, you can't get the serve back. They're scoring like crazy and you're in the same position, okay? Now there's, there's different ways that you can do it. The other way that you can do it as well, um, which again, I like to do it this way uh, when I'm playing. So, so, so Mac would go out and then Eddie's there, you go, serve it up. I would actually like for you to go more to, like go towards Ma uh, Mark's back end. Okay, down the line, but like a deep down the line. And get there. Yeah. And I would like for you to like, get there and be aggressive with that volley here. Okay, here we go, do it again. Remember your goal here is to stay, stay in the, the offensive side go forward go go that's it finish it good better okay so that was that was it so at that point by doing that you guys stayed it and again it ended up going actually to a really good spot which was your back end uh the last thing that you really want is angle that cross court return because then it opens up you know all sorts of angles but the thing, the thing that you guys did really well with that, in that, that scenario is that you were aggressive on every single shot. So then it enabled, like it, 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 you guys were not able to get a good ball and then get back on offense. That to me is one of the biggest things when you are thinking of returning that you want to stay on offense, okay? They can score, but you have the advantage, okay? The other thing is we'll talk about signals. So what are, give me an example of what, what are some of the signals that you use? Because there is no set in stone here. You just got to make sure that you and your partner are on the same page when it comes to signals. So what are the signals that you guys use? Um, this for go. For and, switching, yeah. yeah. That for stay. And then I learned a new one this week. What? Fake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go, but I'm not. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And do you have any? Is it the same uh, pretty much? We have never used the fake, but we've heard about it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And again, a lot of the times, the reason maybe, again, is just to give a different look. It's maybe that you pretend that you're going to go, but then you stay. Uh, so, so again, to review, this is staying, you're staying in the same position. This is you're going to switch. Uh, so no matter what, you're switching. Uh, unless, unless, again, maybe the return went really wide, and now you might, you might want to vocal, you vocally going to say, hey, stay, 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 you know, like we're not going to switch at that point. Uh, but you want to make sure that you vocalize it. That at that point, the signal's too late. Uh, and then again, the, the fake one. Yep, there you go. Get up. Yeah, there you go. And also, just just one thing, always acknowledge that you got that signal. Okay. Say, yep. Okay. All right, here we go. Move and come Good, there you go. Okay, so again, always, always acknowledge that signal just because you want to make sure that you're on the same page. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions about stacking, uh, please feel free to um, send me a message. Thank you and enjoy. <laughs>